Hello, welcome to another episode of Pay Street TV. I'm your prospector, Chris. Hey, you know, I just noticed there's a marker there. For a gas line, do not dig. I don't think we have to. <laughs> yeah, because there it is. There's your problem. Goodness gracious. Come on. I'll have to be careful about that. We are back on the Nimishillin. We are on that gravel bar again. You remember last time we dug a five gallon bucket right there off the point of it and we found a flake. It was a nice flake. We're going to keep working this thing. Wherever you find gold, you're going to find more. At least that's what they say. We're going to come up here on the right side of this gravel bar. Well, maybe right around in here. Where this current wraps around and somewhere right in here. We're going to go a little bit deep. So yeah, we're going to get started and get some material classified. We'll make the power snail plank and see what we get. Back in a bit. Alright, welcome back to Pastry TV. Taking a break. Drinking some water. It is really muggy out here. And I'm going to show you real quick. Once again, we're lucky. Look at all this stuff. There's a Oh, something from a really old Westinghouse. You know, some kind of a switch doodad or whatever. It's some kind of a transformer there. That's probably got some copper in it. So we got copper. That's awesome. This was really neat. Not that piece of glass, but yeah, look at that one. Kind of artifact looking. Like an old plate or something. I don't know what it was. But that's kind of neat. I don't know if I'll throw that one away. So yeah, we're going to finish that up and set up the planking power snail. Run it through and hopefully we'll find something today. I'm feeling good about this spot. Back in a minute. Alright, we're back on Pay Street TV. We didn't get a whole bucket. A little bit better than a half, but it looks like it's trying to do something. And I'm like that... Uh, that elf on that show that doesn't like to make toys, well, I'm the prospector that doesn't like to get wet. Don't like it, never did. End of story. I don't like fishing in the rain. I don't like prospecting in the rain. I love the gold, so you make sacrifices. And it's relaxing. So we're going to hurry up and get going on this before something bad happens. Or you know, I'm out here in a creek with a metal shovel. I don't know if this is going to be a lightning storm or not, but I don't really want to take that chance. It looks like already I need to lower my angle. i got to pay some attention to this snail. Back in a minute. Alright, we're back on Pay Street TV. I don't know, man. We got... Some big thunder clouds rolling in. The rain's starting to spit on me. I don't know what to do here. I don't know if I need to finish up real quick or stop and look and see what's happening. So we're going to do that. All kinds of all kinds of black sand. I don't know. This thing seems to work too well sometimes. I need to increase my angle a little bit, but right now I hear that thunder going, and I'm standing on a freaking gravel bar holding on to a little metal stick with a camera hooked up to it. That's not very comfortable. There's other people that do the storm chasing. Pay Street TV doesn't do that. It's somebody else's job. So I think we're going to get our coat on here. Maybe walk up this little feeder creek a little bit. 
uh, cover up our battery. Yeah, I know, a prospector that doesn't like to get wet. I don't like to get electrocuted either. I don't know, maybe it's gonna blow through. That would be awesome. I see the sun poking through now. Yeah, I really don't want to get caught out in a place like this in a downpour. That would just blow. Okay, false alarm. We're going to finish that up and I guess we'll start panning because that's going to take hours it looks like. Back in a minute. Alright, we're back on Pastry TV. Uh, we dodged a bullet. Spit rain for a little bit, but it stopped for the most part. Just been panning down our heavies. And, uh, we started off with about three tablespoons of brown and black sand, and we're getting down here towards the end, and things are getting hard to move. And got a lot of mica in here. Keep screwing with me. At least I think that's mica. There ain't no way that's a piece of gold that big. Well, sucker's not moving. Alright, I need to figure that out here. I don't want to take a chance of losing that if that's a piece of gold. Because that would be a really big one. I want to get it out of that black sand and get it off to the side a little bit so we can investigate it a little further. Back in a bit. Okay, as you can see and as you can hear, we're getting downpoured on. I left the snail and my bag and my buckets down there. Just starting to look and see if we have anything. And we had a couple pieces in there, but running up the bank I seem to have lost them again. So as awkward as this is, we're going to try to... Still don't know what that big piece is. It kind of moves around a bit, but yeah, it moves around a little bit too easy. I think that's another piece of mica. That's a mica in here screwing around with me. That stuff is so gold and so shiny sometimes that it just messes with your head because you're like, oh, is that a big piece? Oh, what the heck, I hate getting wet. I jinxed myself. Alright, we're going to wait and see what this is going to do. Eventually I'm going to have to truck down there and get my stuff out of the creek before it washes away in the flood. Back in a minute. Alright, we're back on Pay Street TV. The weather's still not cooperating with us. It's thundering and raining and I just finished panning that down here in my truck. Right below my green light there, it's probably not going to focus on it very well. Let's see if I can... Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there they are. One's more of a small flake and then a speck. So I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm not very pleased with the rain, but it is what it is. It's Ohio in the spring. It rains or it doesn't. So uh, I'm going to creep my way down there and grab all my stuff and pack it in and get home and we'll pick this back up in the gold room. See you there. Alright, welcome back to Paystreak TV. We're in the gold room. Boy, we got absolutely drenched out there today. But I guess you can say it was worth it. Well, almost worth it. Hmm. Got two little specks. And if you put those together, they might be a flake. But still, I'm pleased. You know, a lot of two gallons of material run really, really fast through that snail because we were trying to race that storm. And yeah, storm one. 
they're nice. They're they're about oh about the same size as the other one I found here last week there. So that's always nice. Come up with some gold. This weekend we're gonna be down on the Tuscaroras River. Uh, my my buddy Josh, he's starting a channel called Barbarian Babble. It's going to be all kinds of man stuff, and he's an interesting guy, and he does interesting things, and, oh, he'll probably have some prospecting on there. In fact, we're going to test out his custom-made sluice box while we're down there, and I'm going to make a show, and he's going to make a show, and he's going to have all kinds of neat things. You ought to check him out. Barbarian Babble. Isn't that fun to say? Do all kinds of man stuff. I guess, well... I guess women like it too if they're manly. Go figure. It was a great day. Two specs, two gallons of material. Got wet. Oh well, that happens. I think we're on a pay streak there though. That's getting pretty exciting. You get back there and have it not rain on us so we can really concentrate on what we're doing. But, there you have it. That being said, thanks for watching. Join us for another episode of Pay Street TV. I'm Chris. See ya.